Hello. We will be discussing about the topic of air cargo handling. This is again a very crucial topic under the umbrella of aviation and logistics management. I will share the screen now. Shipping by air is definitely one of the fastest and most efficient means of transporting goods and materials in the present generation. Airline transports over 52 million metric tons of goods a year, which definitely represents about more than 35% of global trade by value, but less than 1% of the world trade by volume. That is equivalent to around $6.8 trillion worth of goods annually. However, the effects of COVID-19 on the industry dramatically affected the air industry, including air cargo. Available cargo ton kilometers fell industry-wide by 21.4% year-on-year in 2020. Industry-wide cargo ton kilometers had returned to near pre-COVID values. With so much air cargo being shipped worldwide and so many different parties involved in the supply chain, it is important to take a look at how cargo handling is done at the airport. In the land side, in the cargo facility, from the delivery at the airport of origin until it is ready for loading on the plane to the unloading at the destination and handover to the consignee, freight forwarder, Many steps are involved with cargo handling that must be closely followed to ensure shipments are delivered safely and securely. The primary objective for air cargo acceptance and handling is to ensure that consignments are ready for carriage in compliance with operator and IATA regulations, as well as with the export and import rules of the countries through which the cargo will transit. In general, all items to be transported using the commercial aircraft must pass through an acceptance process. There are certain procedures that must be followed regardless of the type of cargo. Other procedures may only apply to certain types of cargoes. Okay. 